Hello, I'm James Mayhew and welcome to this special Draw Along video for the Edinburgh International Book Festival. Today I'm up in my studio, a little attic room at the top of the house, and this is where I work on and illustrate all my books. Books like Katie's Picture Show, or Ella Bella Ballerina, or Koshka's Tales. And sometimes I illustrate stories for other writers as well, like Mouse and Mole by Joyce Dunbar, or Gaspar the Fox by Zeb Sones, Mrs Noah's Pockets by Jackie Morris, and Ian Eagleton's Nen and the Lonely Fisherman. But today I'm going to be talking about a book that I've written and illustrated, and it's a very important book for me. It's called Once Upon a Tune, and it's a book I've been working on and thinking about for a long time. So I'm so excited it's finally coming out. Now this book is a collection of six fabulous stories that have been made famous through music. Lots of orchestral music, classical music, has been based on or inspired by myths and legends and fairy tales and folk tales. Now I've been so lucky over the years to work with some amazing musicians and fantastic symphony orchestras. And while they play their music, I stand on stage with them, surrounded by these amazing sounds, and I try to paint illustrations in time to the music. The illustrations are projected up onto a big screen. This has been one of the most exciting projects I've ever worked on, and I've collected together six fabulous stories for this book, stories that I've been using in the concert hall. Today we're going to be working with one of those stories. So all you're going to need is some paper, of course, and something you can draw or paint with quickly. So pencils, they're a bit slow, but felt pens and crayons, they're faster and they're probably better. So if you've got a grown-up who can find something for you to work with, that would be great. And while they're getting your bits and pieces ready, I'm going to tell you one of the stories in the book. And this story is called In the Hall of the Mountain King. It actually comes from a bigger story called Peer Gint, and it takes place in a country which is right at the top of the map, a northern country. It's called Norway. The writer of the original story was a playwright. He was called Henrik Ibsen, and he wrote a whole play about a character called Per Gint. And later on, a Norwegian composer called Edvard Grieg wrote some music to go with the play. Actually, Grieg's music has become even more famous than the original play because it's such fantastic music. And I can guarantee, I promise you, you will have heard this piece of music before. It's very, very famous and great fun. Now, in the story, Peer Gint, well, he's a bit of a naughty boy. He's always telling fibs, getting into trouble, drives his mother crazy. And he goes to a wedding in the village and nobody wants to dance with him because he's nothing but trouble. So he runs away. He runs away and climbs up to the top of a tall mountain. And there he sits and sulks as it starts to get dark. And then suddenly he sees this strange girl walking past. She's very beautiful. She's dressed all in green and she has long green hair. And she says to him, I will dance with you and I will even marry you. If you come with me and meet my father, who's a king, he will give you lots and lots and lots of treasure. Now, Peer Gint is quite excited about this because he's always wanted to travel around the world and have adventures and, and find treasure and, and become rich. So this seems like a really good opportunity. So he follows the strange green haired girl into a cave which leads deep, deep inside a mountain. It gets darker and darker until Pegin can hardly see anything. But then he sees lots of glittering lights and then he realises they are eyes. They are the eyes of trolls. And sitting on a huge throne is the king of the troll himself, the Mountain King. So Pegin is in the hall of the Mountain King. And the Mountain King says, so you want to marry my daughter? In that case, you must become a troll. How do you become a troll, says Peer Gint. Well, first of all, you have to be wicked and naughty, says the Mountain King. That's easy, says Peer Gint. Everybody thinks I'm wicked anyway. And you have to promise to never to wash and be dirty. That's easy too, says Peer Gint, because I hate taking a bath. Last of all, says the Mountain King, you have to grow a tail, because trolls all have tails. Well, now, Peer Gint wasn't quite so sure about this. He didn't like the idea of growing a tail. The other trolls started shuffling towards him and said, we'll stick a tail on him, we'll pin a tail on him and make him into a troll. No, no, don't do that, said Peer Gint. Let me out, I've had enough, I don't want to marry your daughter, I don't want your treasure, I want to escape. 
There's no escape from us, said the Mountain King. If you're not going to be a troll, that means you're a human. And trolls eat humans. And the trolls all got closer and closer and closer. And Pegint ran faster and faster and faster. He couldn't find a way out of the cave. And then suddenly the ground fell away and he tumbled out of the mountain and found himself lying on the grass. There were church bells ringing in the distance. And all the villagers, who he thought hated him, were worried about him. And in fact, they all came searching for him and they found him in the grass, so glad to have escaped from the trolls and especially the Mountain King. So now we're going to hear the music by Grieg, which is called In the Hall of the Mountain King. It's very short, so I'm going to have to draw very fast. So, are you ready? Here we go. was hard work finishing that picture in time to the music but it was a lot of fun too and in a moment it's your turn to have a go. Now there are five other great stories in Once Upon a Tune so if you enjoy this project maybe you can look at the book and find some of the other stories that have been immortalised in marvellous music. The music is all really easy to find on Spotify or YouTube or wherever you stream your music from. So have a go at this. Don't worry if it goes wrong. It's not about making the perfect drawing. It really is just about having a bit of fun. So get your pens or your crayons or your paintbrush ready. If you do have a go and you post your pictures on social media, we would love to see them. So please use the hashtag once upon a tune. And now, just for you, are you ready? Here comes Edvard Griegs in the Hall of the Mountain King. <laughs> Thank you. 